I'm Stephen Campbell Moore, and I'm lucky enough to have been asked to read a short story on behalf of the National Brain Appeal that supports the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery. And the staff there work tirelessly to support people with neurological disorders and issues, and also help people through operations and post-operative recovery, of which I've been a very, very lucky beneficiary. So this is for all the staff there, and uh, please feel free to donate to the to the appeal. No thanks. This is a personal favourite. It's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and thin, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, it was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be dumb. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. And then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. So beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. And then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways, and he swung them everywhere, and then he did a backward somersault and leapt up into the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing! Gerald cried. And then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite in trance. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. And then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music. enjoyed that, please feel free to 